Hello everybody, Jordan here, and today we've got another video for you guys, and today, as you can clearly see, this is not Atlanta. What? And we're gonna talk about that. So, yeah. So begin with, as you can clearly see, this is, uh, you know, not Atlanta as I just said, but this is actually Los Angeles International. And I bet you're all wondering of questions. Why did you switch? Why, what happened to Atlanta? Are you quitting Atlanta? Are you, are you stupid little quitters? What? What's going on? Why is this? And we have the answers. Calm yourselves, all right? Put down the pitchforks. Push down. Put down the pitchforks. So just to re just to kind of explain everything, what we realized when we were working on the Atlanta project was that we would have to redo everything, and I mean everything, as all the aircraft were outdated. Every all the jetways, all the ground servicing would have to be redone. The entire interior for the sea concourse would have to be done. And all that work is about the same amount of work as starting an entire new airport. So we faced a decision. Either restart Atlanta or start another airport. And we said, let's start another airport because while Atlanta was fun, we wanted to do a little more, I don't know, just like a more interesting airport, if you will. And Los Angeles is kind of like a more of a big name airport, just, just as it is. Now, before we freak out, don't worry, the Atlanta project is still saved. We still have it. It's not thrown in the trash because when we finish this, or at least get somewhere with this, we're going to go back to the Atlanta project, update everything, and come back. But we just said to ourselves, you know what? Let's work on LAX because, you know, let's do something. So, I, and I, enough chit chat. Let's start showing off the airport because we've actually done a lot of work. Considerably more work than Atlanta and the amount of time. So, we're going to start with right here. This is the roadway. This is Terminal 1, but we're going to go on the roadway. So, there's, it splits, like down there. It splits into two where you can go up and where you can go down. And me, Dewhill, Taxi, Piggy, Dush, and everyone just decided to work on this one. Rowan's been working on his own airport lately, and I should show you that in the video, but excuse me. Here is the uh, drop off and pick up part of Terminal 1. Now, this in reality. Okay, at the time of the fo at the time of this airport we're making, this is right before they started renovating it, and in reality, this is like a dark color with glass. But this is I'm gonna say this is like a couple of months before that, so I'm gonna I might get rid of it and rebuild it or not. Speaking of this entire terminal is being uh, renovated and remade. This is made like before that, so we might change it once it's being modernized in reality, or might not. It all depends. But as you see. Uh, we have a car right here. Dush made this little car down here. But we actually have shuttle buses and uh, autobuses down here that we can talk about. So let's do it. First up, we have Enterprise. A bus originally made by Dush, but I ended up tweaking it so much it looked a lot better. So we have... This is... Um, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting all the bus names now. Hertz! I'm sorry, this is Hertz. And this is the Hertz bus over here. That's, you know, all yellow. I decided to try to make a bendy bus. That's why it looks like this. This is a bendy bus. This is, I think, Alma. Alma. The red bus. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, then I, I might apologize because I don't know the, all of them off the top of my head. But we can come over here. We have a budget bus made by uh, Dewhill because he said, hey, let me make a bus. And it looks splendid. Here's Taxiway's school bus because he's a little new and he decided to make a bus. And continuing on, um, me and Rowan and everyone just played with bus designs. This is the parking spot right here that Rowan tried to make and everything, but... So yeah, here's the buses, and we even put some of them in our areas starting off. So we have the little signs that say, you know, Southwest Airlines, and over here we have, like, fire hydrants and everything, and... These are little rails where you can put your bags on carts and everything. Here's the entrance. Um, I have plenty of photos from when I was at LAX, and that's what we're going off of and stuff. So at the center part, we're not done yet, but at the center, you come up here. TSA is all over here, and then you walk to your gate. They have shops and check-in over here, as well as over there. So that's let's get to the end of the exterior of this, and then we can start actually showing the cool stuff. You have a little parking area, not parking area, you just have a little dish down here. And here's the roof of the building. And it looks pretty snazzy. Piggy and Taxi made an excellent representation from the real one. But enough to chat of that. It's time to actually start talking about the airport and how it looks like. So here's our first aircraft. It's a Southwest 737-700 in the heart livery. And we actually have put a new engine design on these. They're slightly different, as you can see. We just added that to make the engine feel more 737-like. And we've added more detail around the actual jetways themselves. We had, you know, carts under the terminal. And then we have more iconic LAX jetways and everything. So this aircraft has the 
new interior. Oh, nope, that's the wrong way. This aircraft has the new interior. Oh, yeah. Well, this is the um, different colored interior. This also has that as well. And we have, and as you can see, we actually started adding um, more detail to the aircraft that are being serviced, like this aircraft's being loaded with bags. This is being serviced with a catering truck. You know, awesome catering trucks by Rowan. So we can continue down. We have a Southwest 737-700 with simulators being pushed back. In case you didn't know, Southwest is getting simulators on their 700s now. So I just like to call this one November 969 Whiskey November, which is one of their first 700s with simulators. And it's in the Canyon Blue livery, so yeah. I'm not sure if they have a heart aircraft with simulators on the 700 yet, but I do know that they have Canyon Blues with simulators as of now, so yeah. And this has the old interior because I suspect the aircraft in reality is still have the old interior. You can go into the cockpit. You've all seen it. Nice. Quite fancy. And we have just, you know, a little actual room and everything over there. And let me out. Let me out, please. So, ground markings are custom to LAX. And we have an 800 in the Canyon Blue livery without simulators because there's a few of them left like this. And we actually have air ventilation as designed by Rowan. We ended up retexturing some of our blocks. So, we could have this little ventilation tube that hooks up to the aircraft for detail. And I forgot to mention, and in terms of detail, we have the APU starting up back here with a little cloud of smoke. Well, the APU is not starting. The APU is on because it will be on to start the engines. Now, over here, we have Missouri One. Made this livery months ago. Finally brought it back. And it's just, you know, with the updated tail and everything. Not much. Here's the end of the concourse. I forgot to mention they have little signs depending on the gate. So over here they have two gates but because of limitations I couldn't do much with it so that I kind of connected them like this so yeah unfortunately. We have another gate and here is the 737-300. Now Southwest is phasing out their 300s. Sadly enough I cry every night about it it's so sad but because of that we're gonna get rid of this 300 on around September 30th that's when the last 300 is in revenue service. And that's when they get the maxes, which is tragic, but... So... You know, this is the last year of the 300s. So sad. <laughs> so sad. But, just as you want to show, we have differences, structural differences between this. This is a different wing, um, fairings are different, the winglet's different, the entire fuselage is slightly different. And smaller, too. But here we have a nice modern 737-800. Now, if I wanted to say it's modern, then I need to get rid of these landing lights over here because the newer 737s don't have those landing lights on the underbelly because they have new lighting in here which is LED lighting which as said by Boeing and some other sources is powerful enough that you don't need underbelly lighting but eh, okie dokie we have little baggage carts and stuff this is from a little 777 so in case we wanted to paste one here we can do that this looks quite nice and then you have those little iconic triangles triangle like things on the top of the building over there we have, we made ventilation over there. Now here we have, uh, uh, yeah, excuse me, Nevada One and the Canyon Blue Tail. This hasn't been fit to a new heart tail yet, but it is going to be doing soon, so we're going to keep it like this as it really is. And then here's the rest of the concourse, this is where all the cool stuff is. And there's the gate over here. Now, unlike our ATL video where we would stop right there, there's more! Oh yes! So we can continue down to Terminal 2, yay, and show airlines besides Southwest, isn't that fantastic? So first up we have Sun Country, made by Dutch DJ in this splendid livery. And we have, you know, this is Terminal 2 with a different design. We also have, excuse me, we also have Lores in an Airbus A320 Neo, because they have a few Neos and they have some on order, and I said, you know what, why not we uh, put this, you know, at LAX, because we, we need some 320 Neos, that would be pretty interesting. We have all of that. The interior is, you know, set to Valores. Now here we have a Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 767-300ER. Now with the 767s, we ended up making a new winglet design for them. That's kind of, it's tall, but not stupidly tall. Because our last winglets were too tall, but 767 winglets are huge. So yeah. The tail is slightly different between the other Hawaiian Airlines plane you're about to see, but... I mean, it's Hawaiian Airlines, they're kind of difficult to make. So, you know, we have a double jetway right here so you can board. Let's quick, take a quick interior look 
This is the Hawaiian Airlines interior, at least from what I can see from Seekeru and other sources. And then here is the cockpit, you know, the 767. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So we can exit this aircraft. And we have a Hawaiian Airlines um, Airbus A330 with the um, Moana Disney um, decal. I ended up catching this at LAX. And I'm not really sure who did this, but I know one of us did. And we ended up turning the landing gear to show that it, you know, it's turning into the gate right here. Now this has the Rolls-Royce engines. So we ended up making Rolls-Royce engines for the A330 since we hadn't done that yet. And as you see, the tails are slightly different because we're still trying to make up our mind on how we want to do this livery. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard, but yeah. And this also has the correct interior set to Hawaiian Airlines. Jeez. And over here, we have our first actual 787 at an airport. Wow. So here we have an Aeromexico 737-800. Oh, I'm sorry. 787-8. I don't know why I said 737. And this is, you know, as you can see, we do have different colored windows for the different um, shades the window can go to and everything. But now to the West Jetteries and Canadian airplanes on this side of the terminal. We have a WestJet 737-800 with cylinders made by P in this awesome livery. And we can continue it on. We have the frozen plane that was in our last 737 video. You know, I think it turned out great with that tail, but that's just me, lads. We also have an Air Canada Rouge 767-300. And this also has the correct interior, at least from what I could find online for Air Canada. And Dust DJ ended up making this super awesome tail. And I don't know how I wrote Rouge that cool on my first attempt, but yeah. I think the winglets look pretty darn cool when you make them like this. And that's all we have because we didn't finish this side of the terminal. Interiors are not done yet. What we're planning on doing is the exterior and then the interiors later so we can literally just kind of spit out the airport at a fast rate. Now, um, as you can also see ground markings, we're trying to be semi-accurate saying, okay, these ground markings are a darker shade than these ground markings and so on. So that's what we're doing and you can see we're trying to be realistic how the real airport has curves like this to match it. Yeah, so that's it. Now I, bet one, uh, excuse me. now I bet a lot of you are wondering, Jordan, what's been keeping you so long with these downloads? I want my airplanes. I want them now. And just to say, hold your horses, lads, because, you know, we're, we're just about to upload the, well, I am. I'm almost done tweaking and adding aircraft to the new down, world download. I tried to make it more organized where you have like a 737 line, a 717 line, etc. Where it's more organized and easier to use and everything else. I might consider just getting the Atlanta world and just say, okay guys, here you go. Here's the Atlanta world that you all wanted. It's outdated and everything on there is not up to date and up to excuse me, up to standard. But hey, you, you, you know, you wouldn't mind. But that mostly concludes it. Um, prepare yourself for a couple more uploads. That's more frequently. And we're going to be tackling some more time lapse, Minecraft, and other things. And other content around that. But that kind of concludes this. And I also forgot to mention we did raise this airport up a couple of blocks. As we could be able to add detail under here. Underground pathways and roads. But that mostly concludes today's video. Um, like I said... Oh, and before I forget to mention, the website is back up. It's at the it's the same URL. It's um um excuse me. It's like www. Uh, what is it like? Jordancotv.weebly.com. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. It's just it's, it's just updated. It's like a little nicer and everything. Um, there, that's where I will be placing the world download. I'll let you guys know when that comes out, and I'll be exploring and showing you where everything else is. But there's not much else news about to talk to you with so anyway if you guys have enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe smack that like button for more minecraft madness and check out all my other videos and subscribe for cool content like this i'm jordan and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye